What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Gibbo Ireland for Two Tone Murphy here with yes, another Microsoft Flight Simulator quick fix video. Hope you're doing well. So, in last week's video, which hopefully you might have seen, uh, we talked about how to install scenery, which inevitably leads us to the community folder. And one of the things I spoke about in that video was the uh, benefit of managing your community folder. The less stuff you have in there, the, the faster the performance is of the sim, certainly in terms of boot up time and maybe even FPS as well. And in this video, perhaps you want to totally ignore that and actually uh, the bigger the better as far as you're concerned uh, with your community folder. You like all the liveries, you like all the add-ons. You like all the sceneries to be there uh, loaded up in the sim and performance is, is less important and that's absolutely okay. The only problem there is, well, you might run out of space on your hard drive. So this video talks about how you can move your community folder off your main drive onto something like an SSD and uh, making sure that it works well with the sim. So I'm gonna plug in this drive and I'll take you through the steps involved. Now the type of drive that you use uh, is important, the faster the better really. Um, I personally use and would recommend the Samsung drives. Here's a T5 one, USB 3.1, uh, or this one, the Samsung T7, uh, again one terabyte, uh, USB 3.2. Um, if you've got even faster drives, then even better, NVMe drives if your system supports it would be absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm going to open up my community folder and the very first thing I'm going to do is to back it up. So I'm going to uh, copy and paste this to a another location. So I've got a nice separate drive here called backup and I'm going to go ahead and paste it there. The next thing I'm going to do while that's copying away is I'm also going to copy my community folder to its new location, the location that I would like it to live on. So I'm going to open that up and here is my SSD. And again, I'm going to copy that there. So we'll let that copy take place and we'll be right back. So that's the copying of my community folder complete. Just to recap, I have it in the normal location that the sim expects. I have it backed up to a separate location and I have it copied to its new location that I want it to live going forward. Going back to my community folder, I'm going to rename it to anything really aside from community. So community one for now is fine and I'll be able to delete that after this uh, whole process is complete and reclaim that space back from my internal drive. Okay, so that's community one there. So uh, the sim will be going to this location expecting to see the community folder and all we're going to do is very simply connect this location where the sim expects the community folder to live to this location, which is where the real content exists, which is on the SSD. To do that, there's a very simple tool that I'd recommend. Um, let me go to sh to here, a link shell extension is what it's called. It's a free tool, we click download and then download here, and that'll install a link shell extension into uh, your Explorer, you'll see that now. Okay, so what we'll do is on the SSD with my community folder there, I'm going to right click this now after installing that tool and I've got a new option here called pick link source. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to go back to my community folder where the sim would expect it to be. So it's uh, for me as it's a Windows Store install, it's under app data um, on this location and I'm going to go back one to local cache and then right click on packages because that's where the community folder should exist. It's where the sim expects it to be. I'm going to right click, go down to drop as and then junction. So if I go into packages now, you'll see communities listed there. That's where the sim expects it to be. You'll notice that there's a little shortcut icon. This is not a shortcut. It's actually a hard link or sim link to give it its technical term that will, when you click on it, bring you to your actual community folder with all its contents there. And um, despite the fact that it actually properly resides on the SSD. So the same going to this location, finds the community folder, will load up the content with your community folder actually now living on your SSD. Rebooting your machine will keep this connection from community to the SSD. Um, once you keep the SSD, of course, plugged in, uh, the sim works perfectly with it. Of course, now the last step is you can go back to community one, which is your old community folder, and you can delete that and reclaim the space back on your internal drive. 
And folks, that's it. Uh, short enough video for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a like. And of course, a gentle reminder that Two-Tone Murphy himself streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch. It's a lot of fun. At 1900 Zulu, it would be great to see you there. Until the next one, thanks for again for watching, and take care.